unseen angels sent from somewhere to my soul. sacred past unfold precious memories how they linger how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the We're talking about memories today, and a lot of folks have memories they'd like to forget, but there are some precious memories that we need to make sure we keep revisiting. In the book of Deuteronomy, and chapter number six, we have the scripture that is called the Shema, the S H E M A, the Shema of Israel. In verse number four, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Now that is designed to establish the foundation upon which everything else is built. Belief in one, not several, but one God. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. And that's repeated in the New Testament through the Gospels and is explained to us. Once again, loving God completely, loving others as well. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently. Note that word in verse number seven. Diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And then it goes on to explain how to bind the word. We believe in displaying the word of God, putting it up on the walls, memorizing it, and uh, having it as part of our life where we never get away from it. And there's one thing that the Lord warns them about. And it says in verse 12, then beware lest thou forget the Lord. When you've come into the land, when God has blessed you, when he's given you things that you didn't have to work for, that he just gave you graciously, don't forget him. There is a tendency for us to forget God when everything is going well. There is a tendency for us to remember God when things are not going so well. So why do we question why the Lord allows things in our life to remind us of his goodness? And today we're remembering his goodness and we're remembering the way that we became acquainted with his goodness. There were times with our parents. There were times with our Sunday school teachers, times with our youth leaders and our pastors in which we came to a, a close and personal knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we need to never, ever forget those important things. We need to hold on to those precious memories. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you today as we think back over the, the days, the weeks, the months, the years of time. And our minds go back to a time when we first were presented with the claims of Jesus Christ in the gospel. And thank you so much that somebody cared about us to lead us to you, Lord, through Christ. And thank you so much for salvation. Thank you, Lord, you've never let us down. And right now, uh, Lord, I want to pray for those that might not be certain of heaven. Help them to come to know you right now. With our heads bowed, with our eyes closed, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you pray from your heart right now to God? Something like this, dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you've prayed that prayer and you meant it, would you let us know? We want to rejoice with you. And if you're trying to lead someone to Christ, please share that with us as well. And Lord, right now, we want to thank you for those who have had such an influence. We thank you and praise you for the good spiritual influence and the precious memories as we think back over the decades of time. 
and help us to be that kind of person in the lives of others. We pray for your glory. And Lord, we would pray for those that are sick and hurting and those that are needy and those that are burdened right now. Please meet those needs according to your perfect will. And we'll thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. precious memories. Thank you for joining us today for devotions. Won't you share these with someone else? God bless you.